Hey, I am Abhimanyu. Here I am introducing a title, Mastering ASP.NET video series in English and Hindi language. Post your all valuable comments and feedbacks over this given URL, itorian.com slash article slash ASP.NET slash post slash 296. Blog on itorian.com. Find my Facebook URL here, 2050.itorian and on Twitter, you can tweet me at itorian. And to mail me, abhikumarwatsa at yahoo.co.in. This is video number two of Mastering ASP.NET Hindi English Learning Series. And here the title is Configuring System for ASP.NET Developments. In this video, we are going to look how to configure the system for the ASP.NET developments. Even we will look the quickest way to configure or install the softwares. So let's get started. Yeah, the requirements. Actually, Microsoft and its people are very smart. And that's why there is huge demand in the market today. On your screen, you can see I have mentioned three points. That means you need these three things to develop ASP.NET applications. First one is Visual Studio Express or Visual Web Developer. You can find from the Microsoft website. In this video, I will show you how to find Visual Studio Express or Visual Web Developer on Microsoft websites. Second point is SQL Server Management Studio. And last one is IIS, that is Internet Information Services. I have marked here a point because you don't need this if you are just started learning ASP.NET. I told you Microsoft is very smart because Visual Studio Express is combined group of softwares that includes all required software to develop application at the primary stage. So you don't need to install SQL Server Management Studio IIS if you just started learning. So what is the use of SQL Server Management Studio and IIS? I'm telling you uh, if you are using a shared database hosting, so you need SQL Server Management Studio to open the shared database. And the last one is IIS, Internet Information Services. If you just have a started learning ASP.NET, you don't need IIS. If you know the development, basic developments of ASP.NET, so if you want to enjoy the development of ASP.NET, you need to install IIS on your system. To install Visual Studio Express or Visual Web Developer, you need to open the website microsoft.com slash express. On this page, you will find each and every product released by the Microsoft in Express Edition. Here you can see there is a Visual Studio and SQL Server. Click here to get free Visual Studio Express product. You will be redirected on this page. Here you can see there is Visual Web Developer 2010 Express and here visual basic 2010 express you can install either visual web developer 10 or visual basic 2010 express i will recommend you to install this visual basic 2010 express for this click here when you click you will be redirected on this page here you can see there is a button install now in english you need to click on this button it will pop you this window you can see there is an option Visual Studio 2010 Professional and Visual Basic 2010 Express. You need to click on this. Here you need to save this binary file. After downloading this file, you can execute this file. Here is the welcome screen. You need to just follow the steps here to install Visual Basic 2010 Express in your system. If you want to install SQL Server, you need to uh, open this website microsoft.com slash express. Here you will find a link to download the express edition of SQL Server. You need to click here. You will be redirected on a new page. Here is the page. You need to click on this link. You will be redirected on this page. Here you can see there is two options, 32-bit system, 64-bit system. For this you need to select the product here. You can see there is two types of product SQL Server 2008 R2 Express 32-bit and SQL Server Express Database Tools. If you want to install Server Management Studio, you need to uh, download the tool. You need to install SQL Server Database Tools. To install IIS on your system, you need to navigate to Control Panel and click here on programs here you can see a option turn windows feature on or off you need to click on here 
in this window you need to install internet information services I have already installed in my system so you can see there is a check if you do not have installed yet you need to check here and click on ok it will need your windows system and after some installation it will complete the installation of IIS now to test IIS is installed successfully or not you need to navigate on a page using your browser type here http localhost and press enter if you get this screen then your IIS has been successfully installed.